Welcome to another lecture on engineering graphics. The motive of this lecture is to learn how to present our work on the grid sheet for diagonal scale and uh, how to construct a diagonal scale. In the previous uh, lecture we have talked about this quotient. So we have discussed how to find RF for this quotient and how to find its LOS. Then we learned its solution in detail in that lecture. So in this lecture I will only talk about the presentation on the grid sheet and the construction of the diagonal scale. So in that lecture we found that RF for this is 1 by 20 and LOS is 20 centimeters. Now as we discussed in the construction of plane scale uh, which we done on the grid sheet that whenever you are solving any question on diagonal scale or plane scale you first have to show the two calculations on the grid sheet you have to first show the calculation of RF then you have to show the calculation of LOS with the help of pencil in your handwriting then below those calculations you have to construct the scale okay now let us see uh, the construction of this scale so in this question we calculated LOS as 20 centimeters. So it means first of all we have to draw a line of 20 centimeters. So let me uh, start from this particular point. So we will draw a continuous thick line of 20 centimeters. So let me extend this to 20 centimeters because I'm using a scale of 15 centimeter only so it will be over here up to this point so we are ready with a line of 20 centimeters on the paper now next we know we have to divide this line into some equal number of parts and uh, in the question we discussed in that lecture that we have to make five uh, four parts sorry and uh, each part will be of 5 centimeters. So let me label 4 parts here with the help of scale and each part will be of 5 centimeters. This is the last part. Now after that we know like plane scale we have to mark these points. So we will use letter writing fundamentals. We will take the height of each numeral as uh, 5 millimeters or 7 millimeters and we will stick to those shapes only which we learned in that lecture and we will write all the markings so 0 this will be 1 meter 2 meters and this will be 3 meters and after that we will label this scale this is a meter scale so over here we will draw two guidelines continuous thin line below it we will draw another guideline and uh, gap between these two will be around 5 millimeters or 7 millimeters it is your choice so I will suggest you that take 5 millimeter gap now over here you have to mention meters so without scale freehand with gothic letters let us mention meters and uh, maintain the ratio as 7 ratio 5 so this is a meter scale so we have labeled the scale that it is a meter scale now after that we know that we have to divide the first part into some equal number of parts in in this question uh, we concluded that uh, we have to make 10 parts and each part will be of 5 millimeters or 0.5 centimeters so with the help of scale again let us make uh, 10 parts over here and each part will be of 0.5 centimeters or 5 millimeters Okay, now 
how many points we have 10 points so we will label marking 10 here in gothic style now this is which scale this is a decimeter scale so below this scale we will write in gothic style decimeters and maintain uh, the alignment fine so over here it is around this much below the row so over here also we will leave approximately that much gap only and if you will do this it will look good so again approximately 5 millimeter gap between these two lines and we will write decimeter in gothic style remember uh, the width of letter M is slightly wider than the other letters so we have to maintain the ratio so this is a decimeter scale now after that what we will do in case of diagonal scale we will label the midway marking also 1 2 3 4 5 so make this marking slightly bigger longer than the other markings and below it will mention 5 now after this we will construct the third scale over here and uh, in the last lecture we discussed that over here we have to make 10 parts again and uh, in that lecture we discussed that length of each part over here will be our choice so I know that I have to make 10 parts over here if I take 0.5 as the length of one part then 0.5 into 10 so it will become 5 centimeter for me but if I want to take 0.1 centimeter as the length of one part then 0.1 into 10 so for me it will be 1 centimeter only so it is purely your choice fine this we have discussed in that lecture so over here I will create 10 parts and I am taking the length of one part as 0.5 centimeter so 0.5 centimeter multiplied by 10 then I have to draw a line of 5 centimeters so let's let me draw a line of 5 centimeters now thick line continuous thick line now we'll make 10 parts each part will be of 0.5 for me I am considering the length of each part as 0.5 Now after that uh, mark the mid marking first 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 so make this uh, midway marking slightly longer than the other markings now we read this scale uh, from bottom to top this we learned in that lecture so let me label over here as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5th centimeter it is a centimeter scale 6, 7, 8 so write in gothic style only and this is 10 now we know it is a decimi uh, it is a centimeter scale so let us label that here centimeters so we will draw vertical guidelines this we have learned in the last lecture and now we will write in gothic style okay so we have placed this scale also centimeter scale now what we do in uh, diagonal scale after this we draw same length at this end so we have taken 5 centimeters so let me draw a 5 centimeter length at this end also it should be continuous thick then we will connect these two points with the, the help of continuous thick straight line so we have made the body of the scale now we will show these parts by drawing continuous thick vertical lines fine now what we will do 
in that lecture we have learned that we will transfer these points at this length also so let us mark these points again over here so this is a line of 5 centimeters I need to create 10 parts so I have to take length of each part as 0.5 centimeters so 1 2 3 4 5 midway marking slightly longer than the other markings now in that lecture we learned that align your scale uh, with the ninth uh, division on the decimeter scale and with the tenth division on the centimeter scale means ninth division or the second last division on this scale to the last division on this scale vertical scale so let us align our scale with these two points and we will uh, draw continuous thin lines put less pressure on the nib draw continuous thin lines then now join the next points with continuous thin lines remember we have to draw this continuous thin if you will draw this continuous thin then uh, our uh, answer will be clearly visible to the reader and scale will also look good from zero as well you have to draw continuous thin line so we call these lines as diagonal lines now what we will do now from these points we will draw horizontal lines in the first box only for that either you can use roller scale if you have align your roller scale with this roll to the next point fine or what you can do you can mark the same points over here then you can connect those points so let me uh, do th this activity because I don't have roller scale so I have transferred those points here by drawing 10 points each point is of each uh, length is of 0.5 centimeters now I will align these points to get the horizontal lines and remember these horizontal lines must be continuous thin again so I am getting little variation this side so ignore that part the only thing is you have to draw horizontal thin lines and this you can do by marking the points on this line or you can use your roller scale also to draw parallel lines so you can see we are ready with the, the construction of the plane scale now what we have to do next we have to uh, write the LOS and uh, RF of the scale so let me draw two guidelines so again you see now you can see all the units are placed in line so over here I will mention its RF in gothic style so how much is RF? RF is 1 by 20 for this quotient so let us label that here it is 1 by 20 then leave some gap and mention its LOS how much is LOS? LOS is 20 centimeters. Okay, so now we are ready uh, with the scale. Now we have to answer the question. That means we have to label these dimensions. So let us see how to label these dimensions so before that let me create a space over here let me erase this part okay the first dimension is 2.58 meters it means we have to choose 2 meters from this side so from 2 meters what we will do leave 1 millimeter gap continuous thin line it is an extension line 1 mm gap continuous thin line then 5 decimeters so 5th decimeter is this marking then 8th centimeter this is 8th centimeter now we have to 
pick the diagonal line from fifth centi uh, fifth decimeter and uh, horizontal line from eighth centimeter. Now see where these two are intersecting. These are intersecting here. So we will make this inter that intersection bold like this to highlight the marking. Then we will place our scale in vertical position on that point and above that point we will leave 1 mm gap and we will draw continuous thin vertical line. 1 mm gap here, continuous thin vertical line. So this is the second extension line. So from the object line leave around 10 millimeters. So choose this row and draw continuous thin line again and place closed filled arrowheads on both sides in 3 ratio 1. Over here we will mention in gothic style 2.58 meters. Now let us place the second dimension that is 3.09. So from here let us choose 3 millimeters, uh, 3 meters. So leave 1 mm gap, continuous thin line. 1 millimeter gap, continuous thin line. Then 0 decimeters. So 0 is here 0 decimeter so we have to focus on the diagonal line starting from 0 decimeter then 9th meter uh, 9th centimeter 9th centimeter is over here so we have to pick this horizontal line from 9th centimeter now see where these two are intersecting these two are intersecting here make that point bold again Then align your scale uh, in vertical position with the respect to that point. Above that point leave 1 millimeter gap and continuous thin line. Now in the dimensioning chapter we learned that dimension or extension line should not cross each other. But in case of scales chapter this may happen because we have to place multiple dimensions. So ignore that rule over here. Now from the dimension line we will again leave 10 millimeters. So the next row is at 10 millimeters so use that row to draw the continuous thin line for representing the dimension line in between these two extension lines then on both sides of the arrowheads we will sorry on both sides of the dimension line we will place closed filled arrowheads in 3 ratio 1 and but uh, this extension line should not be uh, more than 3 to 4 mm beyond the arrowhead so over here we will mention 3 point 0.9 in gothic style so this is the final answer for this particular question I hope uh, the construction of diagonal scale is clear to you so we will follow same steps for all the questions but uh, dimensions may vary uh, depending upon the question given to us but construction will uh, remain same thank you very much